I, I just want to say we're so passionate about classic movies. We're going to expand the conversation. You can see the passion that's in this room. It's thrilling to the core. Put a new spin on some vintage films. It's classic movies and more. Hi, I'm Rob Madaska from Classic Movies and More. I'm joined by... Robin Madaska III. And we are here interviewing... Victoria Riskin. Daughter of the legendary Fay Ray. I should mention we're at Capital Fest 2017 and we're honoring Fay Ray. Question, what was your mom really like? I mean, we see her, we're here because we all love her, mm -hmm. but tell us some stories that maybe we wouldn't know. She was very much like the person you see on the screen. Mm -hmm. She was, uh, except I would add that she was very funny. She had a, a wicked sense of humor, kind of a wry, uh, intellectually clever sense of humor. Mm -hmm. She was very warm. She had the ability, wherever she went, she would look people in the eye and immediately sort of hold their gaze, and then she would turn her focus on them. Mm. So she, if she met you, she would want to know everything about you, everything that interested you, and uh, she, she would start to interview you just like I was doing a little bit before we got started here. So the apple doesn't and, fall far from the tree, does it? Uh, well, I'm kind of a rotten apple, but I'm, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like our, your brother. <laughs> no, I, it's, it's, I think I do have some of her qualities, mm -hmm. but I, not for acting, but just her personal qualities. She was extremely smart. Can you tell us uh, a funny story? You said your mom was funny. Well, it wasn't so much that she did funny things. Mm -hmm. It's that she, had a, she loved puns. Mm -hmm. She loved to, to play with words. She had a way of kind of... My father, but the, both of them had that. It was an unusual quality that they shared, of just twisting things so that they were funny in a, in a wry kind of way. So it wasn't uh, that she was uh, a comedian mm. um, very or a trickster. Huh? She was witty. And she was smart and, and, and witty. She also uh, completed the New York Times uh, crossword puzzle in record seconds. You know, she was very... Uh, uh, adroit that way, and this is for a woman who had no, uh, barely finished high school. Wow! Yeah. How, how did she become like that? Was it her parents, or I think she was na she had a high IQ. Mm -hmm. I'm gathering, and her mother uh, was a rather proper Victorian woman who had had a college education, which was very unusual in the late 1880s. Definitely, wow! She uh, went to the University of Utah and had a, a well, only degree women could get, which was an education. And so she was a very meticulous, she was very meticulous about penmanship and grammar, and my mother learned all of that. She was, that was drilled into her. Mm -hmm. But above and beyond that, my mother was very bright. And a lot of women who were in the early days of, and maybe even today, but who were in the early days of filmmaking were extremely intelligent. And um, Mary, you, Mary had to be. you had to be, and you know they, some of them were good business women. They had to look after themselves. Mm -hmm. When she started in the business, they didn't have people called agents so much. You know there were a few around. They had to they had to kind of uh, look manage after their own career and yeah, take care of things. Right, exactly. That's important. And um, and they often came from my mother came from a poor family, so she also had the responsibility very early on of being the support for her mother and her and her siblings wow. when she was by the time she was uh, 18 19 years old she was she was the entire support for the family was that a lot of pressure on her I don't think she felt it as pressure I think she just felt she could do it and she was glad to be able to do it tight knit uh, family it, it they were close but her mother was a tough was a pretty tough character. Uh, she was a woman raising children alone. Her, her the, the father had left mm -hmm. the family. Parents were getting along, so the mother felt very. Uh, she had a lot of res the, her mother had a lot of responsibility for these beautiful two beautiful girls and two little boys, and they they went through very hard times. So all the kids wanted to do what they could to help 
the mother survived. Kind of everybody rallying her. around. They rallied around. They were they, the the siblings were very close, but they were a little intimidated by their mother. Wow, I can imagine. Yeah. Rob, you have a uh, you have any question you'd like to ask? Yeah. What was it like to have Faye Ray as your mom? Like how how did you feel? Well, that's a complicated question. So sometimes I I thought it was fantastic because she was a wonderful person. And sometimes, and maybe you'll understand this, when I was a child and people would say to me, well, gosh, is, is your father a, a gorilla? Your father must be, you know, very hairy. I didn't like that. You know, they were teasing me. Your friends probably don't tease you, do they? No. So that you have good friends. So then I got very shy about telling anyone that my mother had been an actress or been in King Kong because I didn't want special attention paid to me because of her fame. And then I sort of loved it because it was I realized how wonderful she was in films and I realized how wonderful King Kong was as a film. So as I grew up, I got a little bit more secure about that and uh, now I just love it. It's just a great part of my life. But she was a wonderful mother. She made fresh orange juice for me before I went to school every day. She made my breakfast, left it for me if she was working. Um, she did a good job. It's a big job to be a parent. And I would give her a top grade. I remember that. Right, it's a tough job to be a parent. All right. <laughs> um, last question. Uh, you could see from uh, the crowded house upstairs how much um, everybody loves your mother. What is something like Cinefest, uh, I'm sorry, Capital Fest 2017, where they honor your mom? What does it mean to you? Well, I, lo I love that there's a whole audience full of people who love film, and they love the old films. And I just, I think it's fabulous. Mm -hmm. they, they know all the characters, and... So for that, this group of people to care about Fay Ray is doubly special. It, it must be to have them. Your mom will, is eternal, really, and that's, that's something yeah. priceless. And uh, what's interesting to me at this point is that I'll, I'll mention an old-time actor to a young person. I'll say, do, do you, you know who Cary Grant is or you know who Rosalind Russell is. They won't know. Mm -hmm. But if I say Fay Ray, they know her name. Her name has become eternal because of King Kong. And I, as I look at King Kong today, I realize what a remarkable film it is. For me, one of the top ten films of all time. And it, it, so. you don't see King Kong until past 30, 35 minutes in. And that's the genius of what they wrote. Your so mom did a great that, exactly. that tension of, about the... The unknown is always the most powerful. Yeah, thing. I think that's uh, that's that's true. And I I, I read the uh, biography of Marion C. Cooper. I don't know if you've had a chance to read that. He's a fascinating dude. He's one of the more remarkable characters of the 20th century. I know he's a World War One pilot, and he did so many adventures. He's almost like a Hemingway, only he's, behind those. He's the, a he's a Hemingway character, who is a lot more interesting than Hemingway in a way because. I mean, you, as you mentioned, he was a World War I pilot. Uh, he, his plane was shot down mm -hmm. in Russia. He, his hand, the, and the plane caught on fire. He, uh, he, he couldn't steer because his hands had been burned, so he used his elbows, and he was able to land the plane and save both he and his co, co, co uh, they call it an observer, the guy sitting in back. They were held uh, in. Pr they were kept prisoners for almost a year. Wow! And then he went back and he w he fought again. He became a pilot in in the in the Polish Air Force. I mean, he was just a, a wild character. I can't even begin to tell you how. And then after that, he did these great adventure documentaries. Mm -hmm. I don't think they make them like that anymore. Oh yes, because it's not that hard. You know, you can get on a plane, you get a seven forty seven or a seven seventy seven, and go to a remote place. But these were places they went that no one had even heard about and that were mysterious and fascinating. And that's what drew him. That's fantastic. Capital Fest 2017. We're here with Victoria Riskin. Faye Ray has been the star. Robert.
He had a hard time doing that. He hasn't had lunch yet, so it's kind of tough. I'm Ram Adaska. We thank, can't thank you so much. Thank you. You thank are you beautiful, just like your mom. Thank you so much. All right? Classic movies. And more. <laughs>